Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation without wing-backs, which means the outside centre-halves will need to cover the areas out wide, which I would say is asking a lot. And now they get the ball rolling. And giving it away. Said Ben Rama. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Possession lost by the Hammers. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Can he deliver it with accuracy? The fist of the goalkeeper. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Lalana. Enoch Mwepu. Now in possession, Trossard. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Pulls it back, and a goal to open the scoring. A very bright start to this one. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Kurzuma. Antonio. 
The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And space for the cross. Antonio. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Antonio. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well back. And back with Gross. Pascal Gross. He's using his strength to good effect. Well back. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. Suchek, promising looking ball, well not an effort for his own personal scrapbook, Tremendously strong in the tackle. And pulled back. Will they get themselves level here? Oh, it's off the post. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Welbeck. Gross. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Jared Bowen. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. And West Ham have possession again. Declan Rice. Gianluca Scamacca. Antonio. Antonio. Scamacca. Antonio. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, it's not been one of his best displays, Derek, has it? He really hasn't been able to affect the game here. Unless he starts getting on the ball, they're going to struggle to get back into this one. Really good interception. Antonio. Ben Rama. Chance to play it in. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? So two minutes of stoppage time here. Enoch Mwepu. And return to Gross. And smart defending. 
that is that for the first half here well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart well it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad obviously he got his goal to put them in front but he's looked lively throughout too hopefully we see more of him in the second half So the second half underway with the Hammers behind. Can they turn this game around? Aaron Cresswell. How about the cross? Oh, a vital interception. Now can they counter clinically? McAllister Trossard and back with Gross Trossard and there it is but hang on the flag has gone up and it's not going to count well it was a close call but he is just offside good finish mind you Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Suchek. Jared Bowen. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. And the keeper has possession of it. Really fine initial touch. Mwepu. McAllister. Now Lalana. Enoch Mwepu. Now what can they do from here? But really sticking to their task defensively. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Jared Bowen. Oh, could it be Antonio? They had to react and did. Really effective shielding under pressure. March. March. Welbeck. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Space and time for the cross. Very quick thinking there. Declan Rice. Skamaka. But a pass that lacks quality. Enoch Mwepu. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And a tidy challenge. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Running with the ball confidently. Oh, good vision. Well, a decent attempt, but just pulled wide. Antonio, and he's taken it away. Pascal Gross. McAllister. On to Gross. And he keeps going. It might be on for them. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and they just need to keep the concentration.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a brilliant turn to buy himself that bit of space. And then, of course, the finish. That's a great bit of play in the box. So, 2-0 now. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Antonio. And clears his lines. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. And a tidy tackle. And clears the danger. So the final whistle almost upon us. And this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today, Stuart. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. Could be threatening. Could reduce the deficit. And in it goes. And you never know in this game. They might yet be able to level it. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Undav. Here's Gross. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Can they hit on the break? Skamaka. An alert piece of defending. Pascal Gross. McAllister. Excellent ball over the top. March. Cuts it back. Using his physical strength to shield it. Suchek. In possession, Bowen. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Good strength to keep the ball. Textbook defending inside the box. Could be dangerous. Antonio. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Rice sends it back. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the office as far as West Ham are concerned. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.